But I was saying that for the loaded train car, it says that it was initially at rest and I forgot to include this information there in the given, okay? So we're going to use it over here. We're going to write it over here. Velocity two, velocity of the mass two, which is the loaded car is at rest, therefore zero meters per second, okay? Now, after the collision takes place, I know that the two cars stick together. In other words, the two masses are going to become a single mass. So, the total mass is going to be equal to the mass of the empty car plus the mass of the loaded car. The mass of the empty car, we call it X. And the mass of the loaded car, we call it 2X. Remember, this is the information that we got from the given before. The mass of the empty car, we name it X. And the mass of the loaded car, we call it 2X. And here, what happens when you add X plus 2X? Remember that here we have an invisible one. So 1X plus 2X give us a total mass of 3X. Look how beautiful. My connection is a bit slow today. I'm sorry about it. I'm trying to speak slow. So the, so the projected information uh, is according to my voice, but it's really hard. So yeah, we have there uh, the total mass of 3x. And we need to find, what do we need to find? In part A, it says, find the velocity of the two cars after the collision. Again, I'm going to look for the velocity after the collision is going to be unknown. So for the part A, I'm going to use my formula over here. Okay. And I'm going to start replacing the given. Okay. So to find BF, okay, this is for exercise A. Okay. So mass one, we said that it was x and velocity initial one is 21 meters per second east and because it's east is going to be positive plus the mass two times velocity two initial mass two that is 2x and the velocity 2, the initial velocity 2, it says is at rest, therefore is 0 meters per second. This is equal to what we have in the other side of the equation, that is the total mass multiplying the final velocity. The total mass that we got that was 3x multiplying the final velocity. So here, 2x times 0 is going to give us 0. And here, 21 meters per second, and this is going to be x. Okay, x times 21 is going to give us 21x. And the unit are meters per second. Okay. 
And this is equal to what we have in the other side that is 3x final velocity. So here, 21 plus zero is going to give us the same. So we have 21 times x meters per second is equal to 3x final velocity. So if I need to leave the final velocity alone, what should I do with the 3x? You should pass it to the other side. I should pass it to the other side. A performing which mathematical operation? Multiplication or division? Division. Okay, so we say 21 x meters per second divided by 3 x and take a look this is equal to bf alone and take a look x and x are gonna be cancelled because they are doing opposite operations okay it's like when you have a a two divided by two that gives you zero uh, sorry that gives you one okay so basically they are canceled exactly what happens over here x and x are gonna get canceled and all we perform is the division 21 divided by three they're gonna give us seven, seven. meters per second okay and this is positive so it's going to be positive seven meters per second and positive in this exercise means uh, which direction north or east 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 exactly so here east we say to the east is equal to the final velocity with this exercise, you are able to notice that not all the time, all the information is going to be given, but you need to be aware uh, that some other times you're gonna make use of math in a way that, for example, replacing a important words like twice or three times or one half, those are words that uh, give you an idea uh, what to do in the case of, of not all the information is given. So you can use um, algebra to, to find, and you still can get the answer even without knowing the masses. Now, what do you need to know? The ratio of their masses, okay? How do I know the ratio of the masses? Because for example, here it says that the loaded car has twice the mass. That's a ratio. The loaded car is two times the mass of the empty car. That's a ratio, two, uh, two over one. Okay, that's the ratio. So that's what you do in part A. Now for the part two, it says, find the final speed if the loaded car Now it's a different exercise, take a look. Now it's a different exercise. It says, find the final speed if the loaded car moving at 17 meters per second had hit the empty car initially at rest. Now, look at the first exercise. The empty train collides with the loaded train. Y aquí es al revés. Aquí es the loaded train collides with the empty train. Okay, and they are moving at different speeds. So for the second exercise, we're gonna have the same information, okay? 
we're going to need to write the same information over here. I'm going to write it here. And then I will organize this exercise a little better in the PDF, but I, I need to read the problem. Okay, so we have before and after. Okay, before the collision, I have the two masses. Siempre van a ser las mismas. So we're talking about the same cards. Okay, mass one is X. E mass two is two X. Esto sí va a ser lo mismo. Okay, so it says find the final speed. Y the final speed is after the collision. Okay, that's what I'm going to look for. Now, if the loaded car, ¿quién es loaded car? Mass one or mass two? Guys, see the data, okay? Which one is the loaded car? Mass one or mass two? It is important that you, exactly. It's important that you uh, write the information. This is the empty one, and this is the loaded one. Okay, I'm going to write over there. So it says the loaded car moving at 17 meters per second. Entonces, the loaded car, which is that two, vamos a poner aquí el data de que va a 17 meters per second. It doesn't indicate uh, which direction it's going, just the, the speed. So we're not going to write anything else. Now, what is the velocity of the empty train? What is the velocity of that empty train? It says find the final speed of the loaded car moving at 17 meters per second. Uh, if the loaded car moving at 17 uh, has hit the empty car initially at rest. Empty car initially at rest. Entonces, empty car, which is this one over here, Está initially at rest. And that we know that is zero meters per second. We know that the total mass is 3x porque lo sacamos del ejercicio anterior, okay? So we don't need to get it. Or if you want me to do the step one more time, it's going to be mass one plus mass two, mass empty, plus mass of the loaded car, x plus 2x, and this gives us 3x in total. So if you want, you can write it again. So there you go, you have all the information here. Charlie. I'm gonna move this down. <laughs> okay, so you have all the information here and here you have the formula. All you need to do is to replace and find the unknown. The unknown is the final speed. So we replace the given. Mass one is X. And the initial speed is at rest, so it's zero meters per second, plus the mass two, that is two X. So we say two X times the speed two, the initial speed two, that is 17 meters per second. 
is equal to the total mass mt, which is 3x times the final velocity that we are looking for. So x times zero give us zero. Okay. And two x times 17, you know you have just to multiply the two and the 17. That gives you that gives you two times 17 gives you 34. But you don't forget that you are carrying the x. 34 x meters per second. And this is equal to what you have in the other side, 3x times the final velocity. Again, you need to leave your final velocity alone. Okay. So you need to send it to the other side. If you send it to the other side, it's going to go to divide, just like we did before. OK? I don't know, this thing stopped working. Okay, so how much is uh, 34x divided by 3x? Eleven point thirty-three. Exactly. Thirty-four x divided by three x and these are meters per second is equal to the final velocity. So x and x are canceled. And thirty-four divided by three gives you eleven point thirty-three meters per second and this is equal to the final velocity that we were looking for in the beginning Okay, so uh, guys, this is going to be it for today. Analyze the exercise and ask me questions if you still have questions. Uh, remember, it's not going to be all. We're going to continue in class, mostly because I know that you probably can have questions, but you are not willing to ask the questions here. I don't know why. You know already that I don't eat people, so. Feel free to ask. Part A is solved here and part B is solved over here. I don't like it.
Ay, no, eso no era. Ay. Sí. Bueno. 